the God of heaven, he reigns. Hallelujah, mighty Jesus. Can I hear some people worship God in this place? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to hear some people giving God the glory. Mighty God, for he is worthy of all the praise. Hallelujah. I am thankful tonight. Hallelujah. That I can be able to be on this line to speak to you tonight. Hallelujah. Jesus, you are God and beside you there is none else. Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Somebody said to give me Jesus in the morning. Hallelujah. And in the evening. Hallelujah. And any moment of the day, just give me Jesus. Is my reason for living. Hallelujah. Is my source of survival. Hallelujah. I said any moment of the day, just give me Jesus hallelujah and tonight I'm really thankful to be on the prayer line tonight the intercessory prayer prayer line hallelujah I'm really happy that we have so many people in the congregation today hallelujah mighty Jesus to hear the word of God hallelujah Jesus my God is awesome I greet the overseer of this line, Bishop Lloyd E. Russell, Visionary Wallen, hallelujah, Jesus, hallelujah, first and second in command, Minister Martin and Brother Anthony Gooden, I greet the moderator tonight, the other committee members, hallelujah, on the line, and our visitors tonight, I greet you in the mighty and the precious name of Jesus, praise the Lord Jesus, God is good, God is awesome. And he's about to speak, praise the Lord Jesus, through this medium, hallelujah, through this segment, praise the Lord Jesus. You heard a testimony, hallelujah, that is to tell you that God is still real and he's still working out things, praise the Lord Jesus. Many times people get stroke, hallelujah, when they do recover, they don't recover 100%, they walk with a unk or something. Praise the Lord Jesus. But we have seen where the Lord started a work. Hallelujah. In this woman. Hallelujah. That she may be able to respond. Mighty Jesus in a positive light. And I'm great. I'm grateful. I'm really grateful that the Lord really come out. Hallelujah. Tonight. And blessed that somebody on this prayer line can know. That he is still working out things. And it matters not what you are going through. God can. It matters not how dark your situation ha mama Jesus it matters not how oh oh how deep you think you are my God can praise the Lord and I want you to serve the same God if you are not serving him his name is Jesus mighty Jesus God is a good God praise God hallelujah God is a good God and he's about to do a work and I beg of you my brothers and sisters tonight is not the night for you to keep quiet hallelujah tonight is a night for us to really look into our lives look into ourselves hallelujah and know that God has brought us 365 days hallelujah in 2013 and know hallelujah Jesus mighty God we are at the 47th hour of the new year praise the Lord Jesus hallelujah and we are still alive there are many that are alive today and they don't have any hands to clap unto the Lord. They have mouth and they can't speak. Hallelujah. They have eyes but they can't see. And we are to give glory and honor to the God who keep us. Mighty God thus far. Hallelujah. Jesus and will be keeping you throughout this new year. Praise the Lord Jesus. My brothers and sisters. We are to be grateful. We are to be giving God thanks for everything that he has been doing for us. Praise the Lord Jesus and for what he will be doing for us. There are some things that we did not achieve in 2013. And now we are in 2014. And by the grace of God, hallelujah Jesus, we will achieve it if the Lord tarries. Praise the Lord in 2014. Hallelujah. We will accomplish what we desire. Hallelujah for this year. Praise God. I'm just going to go right into the word. Hallelujah. Tonight. The scripture I'll read from tonight is Genesis. Praise the Lord Jesus. Genesis chapter 32. And I'll be reading from verse 21 through to 30.
praise the Lord Jesus. My God is an awesome God. Jesus, hallelujah. Have your way, mighty God. Have your way, Jesus. Have your way, Jesus. Have your way at this moment, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. Verse 21 through to 30 says, So when the present, present, hallelujah, sorry. So when the present over before him, hallelujah, and himself lodged at the, at night, hallelujah, in the company. And he rose up that night and took his two wives, hallelujah, and his two women servants and his eleven sons and passed over the ford, Jabbok, praise God. And he took them and sent them over the brook and sent over that he had. Jacob, no, sorry, and Jacob was left alone and there wrestled a man with him until break, till the breaking of day. And he and he saw that he prevailed not against him. He touched the hollow of his thigh, and the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint, as he wrestled with him. And he said, Let me go, for the day breaketh. And he said, I will not let thee go, except thou bless me. And he said unto him, What is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel, for as a prince as thou power with God and with men, and has prevailed. And Jacob asked him and said, Tell me, I pray thee, thy name. And he said, Wherefore is it that thou dost ask after my name? And he blessed him there. And Jacob called, Hallelujah, the name of the place. Peniel, for I have seen God face to face, and my life is preserved. Hallelujah, Jesus. I said, I have seen God face to face, and my life is preserved. Praise the Lord Jesus. The thought, as I had shared on Facebook tonight, hallelujah too desperate hallelujah to be denied hallelujah i said too desperate to be denied i want to hallelujah whether you are behind the mute or not i want you to say i am too desperate to be denied hallelujah Come on, I want you to say it convinced. I want you to say it one more time. I am too desperate to be denied. Praise the Lord Jesus. Children of the Most High God, I know you are desperate. And God said to tell you that you are too desperate to be denied. Hallelujah, to be denied. Praise God. Tonight, uh, mean the second night of the new year. Mighty God, many people have gone to make new year resolutions. Hallelujah, mighty God. And some persons, they are just saying it because they are in a crowd and their friends are making resolutions. So they are making their resolution too. And trust me, by the next two weeks, they don't even remember what their resolutions are. Praise God. But I want to tell you that there are some people on the line that did not achieve all their goals for 2013. They have been praying over the years and they have not received their blessing just yet. And they are saying tonight, my God said to tell you tonight that I know that you are desperate. And I realize how desperate you are, mighty Jesus. And he said you are too desperate to be denied. And tonight, hallelujah, is the beginning of a new thing in your life praise God I said tonight the Lord is going to do something praise the Lord Jesus hallelujah in your life but you will only receive it if you get desperate if you are desperate mighty Jesus you are hungry you are craving for this God will deliver you mighty Jesus when a one is desperate, it shows a hunger, it shows an aggressive attitude. Mighty God towards whatever is hungering or desperate for. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah.
Mighty God, no one wants to be denied. Hallelujah. When you are denied, you are rejected. Hallelujah. You are behind a four walls, wanting but can't getting it. But my Jesus has to tell you, he has looked upon everything. Your prayers have come up before his face. Hallelujah. And he said, I see from a far distance your desperation. And tonight, it will not be denied. Tonight is the night. I'm going to start a new thing because this year, 2014, hallelujah, starting from the, the second, hallelujah, mighty God, in the 47th hour of the new year, he said, I'm going to do a new thing in your life. <laughs> Mighty Jesus, how desperate you are for the move of God in your life. How desperate you are to see God come down like he did, oh God, when you just got saved. How desperate are you, hallelujah, to speak in tongues and when you finish, you feel like something bubbling up inside of you. Like when the, 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 the spring just burst up inside of you when you just received the Holy Ghost. Mighty Jesus, one Jacob, he was hungry, he was thirsty for something from God. Mighty Jesus, I want to let you know, the man that this man was wrestling with was God himself. Mighty Jesus, because it says, oh Jesus, when he asked Jacob, what is his name? Oh Jesus, only God has the authority to change your name. Hallelujah, mighty God. Oh Jesus, only God has the authority to bless you certain way. And he blessed Jacob and said, you shall no longer be called Jacob, but you shall be called, oh Israel, oh people tonight on the prayer line, the intercessory prayer line, I'm saying to you, oh God, I know you are desperate, oh Jesus, and he's going to come through for you, oh Jesus. He said, I'm not going to let go when because of this man's desperation. The Bible said that when the angels see the breaking of the day, he said, let me go. But because of the man desperation, he said, I'm just trying to imagine Jacob. Oh Jesus, this man was so hungry. Oh Jesus, when the, when, when the angel of the Lord, hallelujah, mighty God, said, let me go. He said, I will not let you go until you bless me. The angel was desperate to let go. So what he did, he touched the hollow of his thigh. That means he pulled out him giant, hallelujah. That must be pain full but the man was so hungry that the man said listen man I don't care hallelujah I'm not letting go till you bless me I want to hear somebody saying Jesus I'm not letting go until you bless me hallelujah Jesus mighty God this man was so hungry this man was thirsting this man wants to hear from God this man wants a direction this man wants a blessing and uh, let me tell you something the pain was on but he did not let go I said he didn't let go and the Lord had to bless him mighty Jesus when, when, when Jacob asked him what is your name mighty God this is also a sign that this was God himself if it was any other just angel or ordinary angel, he would have said, my name is, and tell him. But we have seen it in the word of God, where every time a man of God asks, what is the name? There was always an issue with the name of God. Praise the Lord Jesus. But the Lord blessed him anyways. I said the Lord blessed him anyway. This man was hungry. This man was craving. Let me tell you what the man had seen. This man Jacob. Let me tell you something man. I don't care the situation that you're in. Because this man Jacob. Hallelujah. He, 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 he was a, exactly he was a criminal he went and he deceived hallelujah the man who had the blessing and let me tell you something as it comes to me you see when you have the blessing don't make nobody trick you let me tell you something food perish 
I say food perish and everything on the face of the earth will perish when God bless you and anoint you and give you oh Jesus when the Lord bless you let me tell you something it matters not how the thing sound as long as it's earthly it will dissolve it will shake and the Bible tell me when the face when God come hallelujah anything that can be shaken will be shaken mighty Jesus let me tell you something when you're serving God and you are making a sacrifice I have never seen any man making a sacrifice for God and die I've never seen it so he saw his brother was hungry man and he feel like him I got dead man and this man say you you have it you know I'm going to make a switch hallelujah and he make the switch and this man don't even know the value of what he did have this man said give me it man me hungry oh Jesus but when Esau recognized what the man had done hallelujah Esau became a little devil hallelujah because he had made the switch and realized what he did so the devil entered his heart and he said me must kill this boy me must kill this boy so Jacob had to be on the run <laughs> I said J Jacob had to be on the run but at this time to God be the glory it was because of the desperation of peace and love from his brother hallelujah he hold on to this angel and say I will not let go until you bless me I want peace in the land I want love between me and my brother I want to be one again and because it has been for a while he decided he will not let go until God bless him because the Lord had promised that he will be oh God the anointed oh Jesus and he know that even though his situation seemed like it's not going to be over he said listen man I want it to be so now and brothers and sisters I don't know what the situation is tonight but the Lord said to tell you I have seen your desperation and I will bless you you will not be denied Jesus Hallelujah! There are some people on the line that have been praying for more than seven years. There are persons on the line who have been praying for more than two years. But God said to tell you, I have seen the desperation and you will not be denied. My God, my God, there are some people in the word of God. Oh Jesus, my God, because of their desperation, they got their breakthrough. There was a woman with the issue of blood for 12 long years. Are there anybody on this line who have been one problem for 12 years? The woman with the issue of blood, the Bible said that she has gone to the physician. She has spent all she got. And she had a hunger and a thirst. Praise the Lord for something. She desire, she's desperate for a touch from Jesus. I heard missionary Wallin minister a song some time ago. Just a touch from Jesus. Just a touch from Jesus my God mighty Jesus this woman when I look at her situation imagine with me my brothers and sisters this woman has been losing blood and I know and you know that it blood in the body that keep you strong I said the blood in the body keep you strong and this woman has been losing blood for 12 long years and watch how the Lord works now. The Lord was just going through, was about to heal a little girl for his glory. When Jesus was passing her way, the crowd was so thick. Imagine with me this woman on the ground. She must be weak. The crowd was thick. And this woman drew herself and made up in her mind, if I could just touch my God. The aim of his garment, I will be okay. People of God, when you're praying, you need to push. You are desperate, you need to push. 
This woman didn't touch half of his clothes, just the aim of his garment. Hallelujah. And the Lord said, I feel virtue. Is there anyone that can let the Lord cry out tonight on the prayer line? I feel virtually my body. For the Lord said, I will not deny you. Jesus. I will bless you tonight. I will bless you tonight. I want the people on this line tonight. I want you to claim your blessing. Your seven year blessing. Your four year blessing. Your two year blessing that you have been asking God for. If it is even last month you want something. You have a need for something. And you are desperate for it. I want you to ask God tonight. Because the Lord is speaking to somebody. And it's only through your desperation. With the Lord has seen. And your faith tonight. You're going to walk in your victory. You're going to stand up. And be a brand new person. For this woman. The Lord turned to her. And set her free. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Praise the Lord, Jesus. My God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. My brothers and sisters, you will not be denied. Hallelujah. I remember Nineveh. Oh, Jesus. They had done so many evil in the sight of God. And the Lord was about to kill them off. But we know that God don't do anything without a warning. And so the Lord sent the man of God down there to preach unto them. Oh God, hallelujah. When he refused to go, the Lord had to put him through something for him to recognize that I said, Go, these people must hear from me. Hallelujah. Because if, if they continue, I'm going to kill them off. But when the Lord put the man at the gate of Nineveh and the man entering immediately, hallelujah, I said immediately, desperation get a hold of them. I said desperation get a hold of them. Fear came upon them and know they have a need, not a want, but a need to seek God. The Bible said that the desperation was so deep that down to the animals were on fasting. Praise God. When the Lord looked at the desperation of Nineveh, the Lord has to change his mind. <laughs> Oh Jesus, how oh, desperate are you for the victory? Oh desperate are you for the victory? The Bible said unto the animals, down to the animals, we're on fasting. <laughs> Oh Jesus and the Lord came through for them. What about you? What is the situation tonight? I said, what is your situation tonight? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Have you been losing blood for 12 years? Oh God, have you been doing all of these things that is not right in the sight of God? And you have been praying for a breakthrough. And God, you feel like God is far from you. How hungry are you for this? How hungry are you for this? My God, my God, my God tonight, brothers and sisters, there was a blind man that was laid, he begged, his name is Bartimus, hallelujah Jesus, this man was hungry, this man was desperate, my God, hallelujah, this man can't see, brother and sisters on the line, I say you have two eyes, hallelujah, and they are working well. You have two ears, and they are working well. Likewise, Bar Bartimius, that he had two eyes, but he couldn't see. He had two ears, and that what he was using, he was using his ears to survive. But that, but because of his blindness, he had to stay one place. Brothers and sisters, do you see how blessed you are? Do you see how blessed you are? You can see, you can talk, you can hear, you can walk, you can clap. You need to give God thanks. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. I say somebody's desperate tonight. 
when this man heard that Jesus was coming, the man used the instrument. <laughs> Jesus. <coughs> the man cried out aloud and said, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy. Brothers and sisters, when you are desperate, you drop pride. I say when you're desperate for something, you, you drop pride. Hallelujah. Them say when you're desperate, pity short fit you. My God, mighty Jesus. You drop everything because this is a need. Desperation is a need something. You see that you can't do without and you want it. So blind Bartimaeus, hallelujah, the Bible said him cry out. Let me tell you something, children of the Most High God. When you are in the house of the living God, in the church, you are going to have some need. Where even the saints are going to shut you up. But because you are desperate, you are going to shout for the better. You are not going to sit down in the church and say, you know, one brother, so and so come, come approach you. Because he's going like him, my God. Hello, you're going to drop pride. You know how God has been good to you. You know what you want from God. Now let nobody shut you up in church. If them tell you shut up, you shout for the better. Oh, Jesus, because you are desperate for a touch from God. Jacob said, I will not let go until you bless me. Blind Bartimaeus hear them say, shut up, no man. Shut up. But for the better he shout, Jesus, have mercy on me. When Jesus heard it, Jesus turned to him and turned to him and said, bring him come. What you want me to do for you? Tonight God is saying to somebody, oh Jesus, I see that you are desperate. I know you are desperate. You will not be denied. Some of you, you are desperate. And you will cry out before God. And all of a sudden your desperation die out. Hallelujah, you are not willing to fight. But God is saying, I have seen your calamity. I have seen your struggles. I just want you to cry out a little more. Because all of these things, I want the glory. I want the glory. And tonight God is saying, I'm going to bless you. Because your time is just come. Tonight is your time to be blessed. Tonight is your time to be blessed, my brothers. Tonight is your time to be blessed, my sister. What is it that you want God to do for you? Oh, Jesus, you have your mortgage piled up for so long. Oh, Jesus, you want a vehicle, you want a car, you want a house, you want a land, you want to start your own business. What it is, oh, God, Put it before God tonight. Because God said tonight is a night I'm going to start your thing. I want all of you to receive your blessing. And you will receive your blessing when you start to show God. Say you're really hungry for this. God had looked down the road and he smelled some desperation. But there are some people on this line that God, hallelujah, is saying, Oh God, I'm going to bless you tonight. And there's another set of people that is not yet desperate. I said you need to drop off pride. Oh God, you need to open your mouth and let your request be made known unto God. But the other persons on the line who received their blessing tonight on this line, they did not take it to themselves. They, oh God, take it to the church and they say, church, pray for me. They come to the intercessors on the prayer line and they say, pray for me. Oh God, we don't know you. We can't see your face. Hallelujah. I don't know what this is. Your, your, your craving is for tonight. But God is saying, let it be made known. Oh Jesus. Hallelujah. This is the second day. Hallelujah. Of the new year. And you're not going to step into the new year the same way. The third day. 
the same way. Hallelujah. I want you to walk into your victory. You are going into your victory tonight on this line. Oh God, what is it that you want God to do? You have been praying and God has been seeing it coming up. But God wants you to come one more time before him and let it be made known. And you will feel the transformation in your system. Hallelujah. You will feel God moving tonight. God is saying, I've seen that you are desperate and I'm going to bless you tonight. Brothers and sisters, I don't know what you're going through. I don't know what kind of warfare you are fight. But God is saying, I have seen your desperation and I will bless you. I am going to bless you. Stop doubting God. Some of us, when, it, when the desperation rise up, we show the show it upon our face. But God no mind that. Because when you show it upon your face in prayer, God understand that language. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God understand. Remember, you know, man. God is a spirit. And he, he couldn't feel what we are feel. And what God do? Read the scripture tonight. The scripture says, In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. Verse 14 say, Me put on flesh and come. Hallelujah. Me feel the pain on the field too. Tears run from him eyes too. My God. So God knew exactly what you're going through. When him change off. And go sit down back up there and say, Hey, you see that one over there so named Charmaine? Me know what she feel, you know. See the one near Anne Marie over there, so me know what she had got through, you know. You see the one over there, so come on, man. Me know what she had got through, you know. Hallelujah. Me feel the pain what she had feel, you know. My God. Hallelujah. The one named Carleen, a long time she had got through it. Hallelujah. And me know exactly what she had feel. And me go bless her. Julie, me know what your mother had got through. Me didn't have the flesh, though. Come on. Me know what she got through, but guess what? Me have all power, and I'm the one that is going to heal her. Hallelujah! I mean, you all tomorrow. Hallelujah! And I mean, God bless you. Praise God. Hallelujah! Tonight, God is saying, too desperate to be denied. Hallelujah! Is there any desperate soul on the line tonight? Is there any desperate soul tonight? Hallelujah. Who have not yet stand up. Hallelujah. In agreement with the preacher. Hallelujah. To receive what God started on this line tonight. I want you to look up like Nineveh. I want you to look up like Black Bar Blind Bartimus. I want you to, to hold on tight like Jacob. Hallelujah. I want you to press like the woman with the issue of blood. Make up in your mind tonight. I will not leave the prayer line until you bless me. God promise it to you tonight. I say God promise it to you tonight. And God is going to do it. His word will not return void. Praise the Lord. And tonight, I'm saying one more time, I want everyone on the line. Obedient is the key. It's better than sacrifice. Hallelujah. I want you to say tonight, I am too desperate to be denied. Come on. Come on. I am too desperate to be denied. I want you to say till you feel the moving of spirit. Hallelujah. I am too desperate to be denied. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Praise God. My brothers and sisters, God see. It's been a while God has been looking at the desperation. But tonight, the Lord is saying... I see your desperation and it is too much to deny. I want to close tonight. I want to close tonight. As I speak to you on this line, hallelujah. As I speak to you on this line tonight, 
Oh God, how desperate are you? You will not be denied no more. Hallelujah, you have gone to the embassy. Hallelujah. You have gone to immigration and you were denied. Oh Jesus, the Lord started that process tonight that his name may be glorified. Your husband will start smile with you again. Hallelujah. Oh Jesus, the devil just jump out of your financial status. Him just jump out of your, out of your, out of your bank book. Him just jump out. Of, come on, man. Watch him tear him, take out a come out time place now. Hallelujah. He's taking his leave even now as I speak in your life. Watch the transformation. Watch the transformation. Watch the transformation that God is doing in your life. My brothers and sisters, be strong and have a good courage. Fear not, for the Lord thy God, he it is that doth go with thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. God bless you all. Receive ye the victory in Jesus' name. Hallelujah! Jesus. In Jesus' name. Jesus.